Hello, everybody. Good morning. Oh, they're doing great. They're doing fantastic, actually. Good morning. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm keeping her. Thanks for asking. That's really sweet. It's been a lot of feedings, but they are all growing so well. It's pretty full time. I do about four times a day. I do the feedings with them. Mama's doing so well. She's lost all her baby fat. She's such a small little cat. And guess what, you guys? We got names. You guys will be the first to hear them. I'll post them later on a post, but I'll tell you guys. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll introduce you guys to all of them. Because yeah, last night I got all their names down. And um, I'm going to feed them this morning. Check out my coffee cup. It's the best. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, there is a blondie. Hi, Butter. I know I love that cup. It's like just my size. I need that much coffee just to like function. Hi, Mero's Kiddo. There's not a black one. There's like four gray ones. And they all have like these cool markings. Like look at that little orange marking on his head. That's a her, I think. There's nine kittens. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Yeah. Aww. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, they're so precious, you guys. So they came out around 100 grams, all of them. They were all pretty much the same weight. And um, now they're all about 150. So I think it's been four days, it's five days today. So at around like noonish or this afternoon, they'll be five days old and they gained like 50 grams in those five days, which is pretty average. Yeah, I don't know. I know they're so sweet and they're so innocent. I don't know why it looks like they have nail polish on. Have you noticed that? Not all of them, but some of them look like they have nail polish on. Okay, so I'm going to start doing the morning feeding. Where's the link to what? What is B-I-E-R? Beer? All right. It's like kind of cute. Oh, to the birth. Yeah, I put it, um, I pinned it. Does it show? I don't know. I'm not really very good at TikTok, but does it show? I pinned a thing that it was like the, let me see if I can just put a, I'll see if I can just put, um, yeah, I will tell you guys. That.
Okay, I'm going to put the link. I don't know, how long does a... When you put a, a pin, a comment, how long does it even last? Okay, shoot, I'm trying to pin it. Come here, you, pin. Oh, Darren, thank you. Thank you for the roses, that's awesome. Yeah, any, any um, gifts that you guys send, any kind of donations or gifts or anything, um, it all goes to the kittens. They drink so much KMR. KMR is kitten, um, it's kitten replacement formula. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like milk. Um, and I'm basically giving it for caramel so the mom gets it because she's got to keep up her, um, oh, Darren, I love the witchy kitty. That's my favorite. And the hand hearts. Oh, it's so fun. So yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, they eat a lot. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know that all of these amazing gifts, thank you, Darren, they all um, go towards their food and also getting spayed and neutered when they're old enough. Right now it's basically going towards formula because I use a lot. I'm not, yeah, how sweet is this? Oh, oh. Oh, I love this. She loves them so much, you guys. She is such a good mommy. These are gonna be the best cats. You don't even know. Like, when, when cats are just like around so much love and when they have a ton of um, handling and, and care and they're exposed to a bunch of different things. Like I always make sure that all of my kittens have really good enrichment. So we do like, they actually, I get, um, you know, children's toys, like educational toys. So uh, those play mats, like uh, I think it's called little Einstein or whatever. Oh, wow, what is that? The hanging lights? That's so pretty. Um, yeah, so I put like kit children's toys in their playroom and I swear it makes them smarter. They play with them. They actually like, I have a little piano and they play the music on the meerkat. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, yeah, so they, they play with, um, thank you, Darren. They play with, they play with the toys and they like, will play on the keyboard and stuff and play music. It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get to feeding them. All right, let me put this so that you guys can see them. How can I do this? I have picked names, you guys. They're all named. Look at, we've got Nipple Wars. These two are twins. There are nine babies. I get to tell you their names as I feed them, okay? And they're all pretty hungry. Let me see, can I put this up here? I have to try and find a, a good place that you guys can see them well, but I'm not gonna knock it over. Is that pretty good? I won't be able to see the comments very well. Okay, that should be okay though. Okay. Where is my feeding blanket? Hold on a second. You guys, hold on a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. <sighs> Little Skittles. See my little skittles? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Alright. So, this 
this is what I use to feed them. This is a 10 milliliter syringe and this is a special nipple. This is called the miracle nipple and it's perfect for little babies. So first of all, I'm gonna actually see if they need to go potty because sometimes they need to make room and mama's been really busy you know, trying to keep them clean, so I always try to give her a hand. I know it's a little gross, but that's, they actually eat their waste, the babies. The mama licks their bottoms and, and to stimulate them to go and eats their waste, I know. I'm kind of glad I'm not a cat in that way. There's nine babies. I'm trying to think of how I can still see the comments so that I can answer your guys' questions but not let the phone fall. Mm. Okay. That might hi, are you gonna be first? The last live ended suddenly because my phone ran out of battery. It was a five hour thing. I even had it plugged in and everything. So I don't know. It was just the way it is. I have a Samsung phone. I don't know. I just did that. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to charge it again, but obviously I was pretty busy, right? Okay. Is it potty time? Yeah, we can go potty. Okay. Okay, so this one, I'll introduce you in a second. I know. You gotta go pee. You gotta go pee. Good job. Is there anything else? No poops today? No? Just pee. Okay. Okay, we have some poops. Sometimes it takes a little while to get their their bowels going, but it makes a big difference, I think, for their eating. They eat a lot more if their bowels are empty. So I really try to empty their bowels in the morning if I can, but sometimes they won't let me. Sometimes they're very, very stubborn. Like I'm not giving you anything. I know, honey, I know. Yes, I know, it's not the most fun. Oh, I know. Oh, sorry guys. It's not the most fun, but it has to be done. We're doing potty. It probably feels better. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, This I gotta put this up here. I'm sorry. I won't be able to see all of your comments, but I'll try. There. I know, honey. I know. I know, babe. You're doing good. I'm just cleaning your bum. I just gotta clean your bum, please. I just gotta clean your bum. I can't have any dirty bums. No dirty bums here. No dirty bums here. I know, honey. And then you get some yummy yums. Would you like it on some yummy yum yums? Yummy yum yums. Okay. Would you like to meet everybody? Yeah. Okay. So this one. 
Guess what his name is? He is a boy. And I've named them after things I like to eat. Sweets that I like to eat. Things that are sweet that taste really, really good to me. And this is one that is perfect for this season. That's your hint. You get to guess. Pumpkin. His name is actually Pumpkin Pie, but he'll be called Pumpkin. You guys got it. Um, if the baby doesn't have a suction reflex, you mean like, so like this guy, he actually just nursed, he just like drank all of that. So if you can't get him to nurse properly, you have to do a very slow feeding, dropping a little bit into their mouth at a time. It happens. It actually happens a lot more than you think. So yeah, but it's just, it takes a lot longer because you can't, you don't want to like flood them with um, food or else it, they can aspirate, which means it gets into their lungs and then they get pneumonia and then they can die. So you have to be really careful. You don't like just shove, you know, a bunch of food into their mouth because you can hurt them. So yeah, was that yummy? Was that so good? It was, wasn't it? Boy, they're just crazy active today, hey? Oops, let me put this up here so you can see pumpkin pie. Oh, I really want to be able to answer your questions, but I don't know how to do it without, without you know, kind of screwing up the camera. So here's pumpkin pie. So this is... He's already eaten an entire syringe, so I'm just giving him a little bit more. He won't, he doesn't want to latch on because he's pretty full, but what I'm doing is just kind of, this is how you would do it, is you would just put it in there and just drip in a little bit at a time, but not too fast, because if you do it too fast, that's when you're going to aspirate them. It's going to just go in. They're going to breathe it in. You also have to be really careful not to get it into their lungs, like into their nose, I mean, because if they snort it all up, that's not good either. You want a little bit more pumpkin? My little pumpkin? Are you my little pumpkin? Yeah. My little pumpkin pie. That's who you are. Okay. So then after I... Uh, give them some some formula they clean their face because it's not nice the the formula actually dries kind of um, hard so and then I burp them Yeah, so I'm in Canada. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, pumpkin. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Oh my goodness, he's being so sweet. And loving. I have washed my hands. <laughs> I'm actually an artist. So some of the stuff that looks like dirt, it's not dirt, it's paint. So I have washed my hands, believe me, but thank you for um, the tip. Somebody just said, um, 
I should wash my hands because it looks like my fingernails are dirty, but it's because I'm an artist and I work with paint and mica and all sorts of different dyes. So my colors under my fingernails don't come off all the time, no matter how much I scrub because they're painted on their, their pigments. But I always, I'm always very careful when I deal with the kittens because I have my own cats and I don't want to get any cross-contamination. So... I have been... I have been, um... fostering... cats for most of my adult life. I think when I was 18, I started. And I'm now in my late 40s, so it's been many, many years, but I've had these guys quit burping. I've had these guys for about, the mom for about two weeks, and the babies are five days old. Good job, sweetheart. Pumpkin is just being a sweetie, not yelling at all. I have one that is, whatchamacallit, kind of blonde. Yeah, she had nine kittens. So this one has been named Pumpkin Pie, and he is a boy, and he's a sweetheart. So this is Pumpkin Pie. And he is now fed and pottied. Now you're going to meet his sister. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Now I believe this is a girl, but I could be wrong. Okay, I'm just reserving the right to be wrong. So this one is a girl, as far as I know, and her name is something very Canadian. Also a sweet. So in my mind, it's Canadian. I know that it can come from other places, but in my mind, it's Canadian. And it's a flavor. So you can just take a guess. Maple, somebody got it. You got. Hi, I know. So we're gonna do potty. I know, honey. I know, I know, honey. I know, baby girl. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. Some, you have to go potty? Mm -hmm. In the mornings, they can take a little while to get their bowels going. But, okay. But they come eventually. And it feels much better for them when they eat, because otherwise I'm just shoving more food in there. I know, honey, I know, but I see that you have to go. I see that you have to go. I see it there, just waiting to come out. This is not the fun part, I know. Here, I'll tell you what, how about you look at those guys for now. You're okay, honey. I know. Okay, how about you stand up then? I see that you have poops there. Yeah, you have to give them to me. Give them to me. Oh, little baby. Give them to me. Thank you. Thank you. Maple, my little maple girl. You 
giving me your poops? You're just really strong. Yeah. The mom does take care of it as much as she can, but she can't keep up with all nine. And there's been times when she got tired and she missed a couple of poops and then they got all over everybody. And that was not fun. Not fun for them, not fun for me, not fun for mom. And so I just help her out, especially in the mornings when I come in. Okay, 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 okay. I see that you're all done. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, so I help her out. It is warm and wet. I actually dip it in the warm water and it's so your, your um, worries are not, not good. That she's, she's good. Um, hi, sweetheart. So this is maple. You cannot buy these cats. Um, unfortunately, these cats aren't for sale. They're only for adoption. So that means that you'll have to fill out an application and you have to come and meet them. So that's really important. That's a, part, a really important part of the process. You can't adopt a kitten without meeting it first and making sure that the kitten is a good fit for you and a good fit for the kitten, that you're a good fit for them. Hi. Is that yummy? Oh, you're just a messy eater today, huh? She's not latching on. So sometimes they latch on and that's awesome and sometimes they just don't. And it's not awesome, but we still have to feed them. Oh, sweetheart. Come on. Yummy, yum, yum. You gotta have some yummies. Yeah. You're okay, sweetheart. A little bit more, okay? Oh, you just squirted it all over. Yeah. Hi. Maple. My little maple. Are you my little maple girl? Oh no. I just lost the nipple. Okay. Hi. Hi. Good girl. Oh, that's my good girl. <laughs> you all done? Okay, I'm gonna give you a burp now. You're gonna get a nice burp. Hold on a minute. I'm not waterboarding her. <laughs> this is formula and I'm dripping it in her mouth and she's drinking what she wants and spitting out the rest. Oh, what a good burp. What a good burp. Yeah. That was a good burp. Okay. Oh, it's another one. Oh boy. You're just full of them. Okay, I'm going to let you watch the mama and her babies for a minute because I've got to get some, um, I've got to get a little bit of warm water for the formula just to kind of heat it up a bit. Hi. Hi, my sweet girl. Yeah, you have to burp kittens when you feed them. When you feed them like with a syringe or with a bottle, you've got to burp them. When they feed through mama, they don't have to burp. Hi, sweetheart. You 
just wanted some lovings, hey? Hmm? Yeah. I love you. Maple. My little maple. Okay. Do you want to go back down and see mommy? Okay, sweetheart. There you go. My little maple girl. Oh, maple. Hold on. What are you doing? Did you just go down there and steal a... Did you just try to go steal a whole nipple? Okay. She's such a good mama. She's also um, very rare. Some of you guys know that um, orange cats are almost all male. Only 20% of orange cats are female. So caramel is actually a rare cat. So I'm gonna get hot water maker okay most tri-colored cats are female that's true most Mommy's doing really, really well. She's tired. You can tell she's like half sleeping with one eye shut. Who should I feed next? You've already met pumpkin, pumpkin pie, and you've already met maple. I usually feed all the orange ones first because it just gets them out of the way so I could feed maybe the oh look at look at um I don't know if you can see it that little the little blonde one was wiggling his ears it was really cute okay let's get this hot So I think she had nine babies. Um, Shay is asking if there's a lot of people applying. So I have a few kind of important rules and one of them is that you have to meet the baby that you want to adopt before you adopt them because sometimes it's, it's, um, not a good fit. Like sometimes you meet the cat that you think you want because they're pretty or whatever and it's just not a good fit. Like you you come and another one is the one you want anyway. And one of them just crawls right into your lap and you're like, oh my god, this is my cat. Sometimes cats just pick you. In fact, a lot of times cats just pick you. So I always try to do like a meet and greet and then people can um, 
I don't know, people can meet them and see which one they get along with. Like sometimes people want a really chilled out cat and they want a really, you know, just a cat that's going to sleep on your lap all the time. And sometimes somebody wants like a cat that's going to play all the time and be super, super high energy. And you, you know, they're, they're totally different personalities. So I try to make sure that we, uh, we try to have people go with the ones that will fit their lifestyle as well. Like, I want this to be a successful adoption. I don't want people, I don't want to set up people to fail, right? Eight, it's nine babies. She has nine babies. So I'm in the bathroom, but I have this like water boiler thing. And so I'm heating up the water. So, I mean, I'm heating up the formula so that it's nice and warm for them. Because they don't like it when it's cold. getting your wisdom tooth out and you're scared. Hey, I got my wisdom tooth out and it wasn't so bad. Malakina, Malaklina, Malaklina. I totally did it and it was not as bad as I thought. I was really scared too. In fact, it was like no big deal. You'll be fine. You have a Persian cat? That's awesome. They have a lot of fur. Persian cats are... There's a lot of brushing, I think. Okay. So, I'm ready for the next one. I'm going to pick out the next one to feed, to potty and to feed. Hi. Hi, Mama. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll go with this guy. You guys are going to love his name. So he's the only blonde one, and he's a boy. And he's squishy. You have a five month old cat and just got a two month old one and he keeps biting him. They're trying to play probably. But you better, um, you better monitor because if they play too rough, it'll be um, too much. You should watch some Jackson Galaxy. Jackson Galaxy will tell you all about how to introduce a new kitten to the household. Hi. Okay, so what do you think his name is? It is 
such a cool name and it's something I love to eat. It's something that's squishy like him. He's very fat and squishy. Not Marshmallow, but I almost called him Marshmallow. Not Blondie. There's another thing. It's a really cool dessert. And it's squishy. It's fun to poke. And it's yummy to eat. It's not Fluff. It's not Flan. It's not Fudge Cake. Not even Cheesecake. Not Jello. Brulee, nope, nope, it's not pudding, not tiramisu, okay, we can go potty time, it's potty, meringue, nope, pancake, nope, I have a cat called pancake, it's not sponge, keep going, you guys are getting closer, it's something really, really yummy. And it can be filled with a lot of different things. Hi, hey, Mama. You going out? Mama's going out for a bit. Okay, you can go. Nope, not muffin or donut. Hold on. Hi, Mama. You want some attention? Mama wants me to hold her, but I just have to finish doing this. So it's filled with something. They have different flavors, a croissant, a cronut, nope. Okay. A macaroon, macaron, nope. He's okay. No, you guys are kind of close. It starts with an M. It does start with an M. It's not a caramel. It's not mousse. It's like, it's a dessert and it's filled with something. It's squishy. It ends with an I. Starts with an M, ends with an I. If that doesn't give it to you, I don't know what will. Mochi! <laughs> this is mochi. This is mochi. So this is our little squishy mochi. How good is that? <laughs> he is so cute too. He was the biggest for a long time, but now he's he's uh, lost that title. Okay, sweetheart, I can get you some yum yums. I know you're hungry. I know. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna feed him. Oh, let's see here. He is meowing. I'm just gonna put this so you can watch me feed him and I can kind of see any questions because I try to make this as educational as possible if I can. Hi sweetheart. I just have to test the milk. It's a little bit warm. I have to wait a minute. Mochi. Mochi. My little mochi boy. Mm hmm. Are you my little mochi boy? Yeah. So these babies, they really like to be cuddled.
They make cute little sounds, little, little piggy sounds. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, I changed the thing. This is what I see. That's kind of cool. Um, they start to open their eyes at about seven to 10 days, but spoiler alert, one of them is already opening their eyes. It's one of the gray ones and I'll show you when I explain to you their name. I know it's kind of crazy, hey? So, so, so far you guys have met Pumpkin and Maple and Mochi. I'm gonna feed Mochi because he's hungry. I just have to make sure that the milk is the right temperature for him. Yeah, he was hungry. Hello, Germany. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Did you like that, Mochi? You like that? Was that yummy, yummy? Yeah. I was totally going to name them Winnie the Pooh characters. Oh, thanks, Pap, Tiffany. Thank you for the rose. Okay, okay. A little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more mochi. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. Oops. Here, this is him eating. He's being fussy. He's being a little bit fussy. You want to have a little bit more? You have it all over your face. You have to clean your face. A little bit more? <laughs> it's hard for me to show you guys the feeding from there. So I'm just going to put this here so you guys can kind of see. I can't see what you're saying though, so don't ask me any questions. Is that yummy? Yeah, is that yummy? Is that yummy on your tummy? Are you such a good boy? My little mochi boy? Are you my little mochi? My little squishy mochi? I think you are. Yeah. Would you like to get burped now? Hmm? I'm a little fussy. Are you a little bit fussy? a good burp. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear him purring? He's doing between the meowing. Mochi. Okay. Yeah, 
he's going to give me a, a one-star review. <laughs> he's so sweet. So yeah, he is not having any kind of milk. It's actually called kitten formula. It's called KMR. It's called kitten meal replacement. Yeah, it's not milk. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're all purring. Cool, Alberta girl is in Alberta, nice. And Nada, I don't know if she said that she's in Alberta or Edmonton. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. I'm just going back and reading the comments. Mama's producing um, milk, but she only has six nipples. And she's nine kittens. So that's not enough. I also use... Somebody went on my Amazon wish list for the kittens and I had this on there and um, sh they sent it to me and I'm so grateful because this is essential. I put this on her nipples every day because otherwise they can get red and cracked and bleed because if you think about it she's got nine little babies you know chomping on her nipples and she's only got six so this just helps to heal them it's been really good um so who should we meet next you guys have met mochi and you've met maple and you've met pumpkin pie Maybe this little wiggly worm right here. Okay. All right, thanks for the follow, Annette. That's awesome. Yeah, let's go with one of the gray ones, hey? Okay, I gotta figure out a better setup for my camera. I'm sorry it's moving around. I'm not very, uh, this is not my specialty. I am not keeping the name Marshmallow. We thought about it. And we decided Mochi was better. And Marshmallow is really hard to say a lot. Marshmallow, it's three syllables. Mochi is just two. And I have nine to remember. Thank you, Darren. Meerkat is the best. It is odd to see an orange cat when they're female. Totally. It's, um, there's only 20% of orange cats that are female. So the rest are males. So we've got pumpkin pie. And we've got mochi. And right here we've got maple. So. Oh, Nada. Your mom is, is the mama getting out? Like how is she pregnant again? And it doesn't mean she's pregnant again if she's not feeding the babies. How old are they? For the baby's names, I have little tiny differences between them, like the two that are orange. So these two are the same. They're both solid orange with no stripes, but one of them has a more white face than the other. It's very subtle. It's hard to see. And then one of them has white at the tip of the tail and the other one doesn't. This one is white, and this one doesn't have white. Those are the only two differences between them. But Maple, who is a girl, 
who is this one? I guess I got it wrong. This one I think is Maple. I could be wrong that it's a girl. It could be two boys, but you know, five weeks. They should be okay at five weeks, Nada, if you want to start, you know, if you're giving them KMR and you want to start them on wet food, you can make that happen at five weeks. So if she's not feeding them at five weeks, that's not the end of the world. When they're this young though, when they're little, little, they really need to have mama's milk. How do you check if it's a boy or a girl? That's how. <laughs> they don't tell you, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's get one of the gray ones. Let's see who shall we look for next. I kind of want to get one that's not nursing. Here we go. How about this one? This one, I know this one because, do you see that gray, that white stripe on their head? I don't know, can you see it? Do you see it? It's right here. I think this one is a female. So it's hard to see from there, but that looks like female parts to me. So she is called shortbread. These are five days old. And this is shortbread. Everybody will meet shortbread. I don't know how to make it not fuzzy. There, nope. Blurry, so fresh. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna potty her and then I'm going to feed her. Okay. Oh no! I'm going to get a better stand for the phone, okay? I'm sorry that it's all funny. Okay, little girl, how about we do some potty? Yeah. Can we do some potty time? Yeah. Well, if they're screaming when you pick them up, that's okay. It just means that they're they're not used to it so for me i have to pick them up because i have to help mama feed them it's like really important because otherwise they won't they'll not gain enough weight and one of them could one or two of them could get left behind and not make it like sometimes when there's this many kittens if you think about it there's a lot of food competition right and the bigger ones are going to, the bigger ones are going to push the littler ones out of the way and get more food. And then they're going to keep getting bigger and the little ones are going to keep getting smaller and then they could die. So it's really important for me to pick them up and feed them because there's just not enough nipples for everybody. So I have to pick them up four times a day minimum. So I'm getting to touch them a lot. And so they're really used to me. Yeah, it was it potty time. Okay, we won't do any more. We don't you already went peace. It's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. Yeah. Hi. And so so yeah, I I touch them a lot and I, I've been feeding them, so that's why they're used to me picking them up, right? And they're not so fussy. 
But if you're not doing that because your mama has enough food, milk and nipples for them and she's doing a really good job taking care of them, then this is a good eater. Look. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, she's doing such a good job. Hold on. Then you don't need to worry about the same things I'm worrying about. Okay, watch this. This is a really good eater. You see how she latched on? And she's just sucking on, that's like her sucking on it. I'm not even pushing it. She's just sucking on the syringe and eating. This is the best. When they do that, it makes me so happy because it's like the ultimate, it's very good for them because they're eating at their own speed and they're eating as much as they want. Oh, she's really good. She's quite solid. She's actually pretty big. I think she's, she's, she's gained a lot of weight overnight. Good job, shortbread. Good job, sweet girl. This is one of the ones with the colored nails. I'm not sure why they're doing that. They're not all like that, so I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, good girl. That's my good shortbread. Are we gonna call you Shorty? Are we gonna call you Shorty? I might call her Shorty for short. What do you think? You want to have a burp now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you my good girl? What are you doing in there? Are you looking for more milk? Hi. She's purring. Can you hear that? There we go. That's pretty cool, hey? Shortbread. I know, she's so calm. Mama cat's probably a year old, I'm not sure. She seems young. Um, I don't know if I get money from likes. I don't know. I think I get it from gifts. Like, Sabrina just gave a heart me, thank you. And I think that gives like a few cents. Every, every gift gives a few cents of a donation to the cats. Um, I think like some gifts are more than 
others. I'm just learning about TikTok. It's Miss Mia Samia asked if I get money from likes and I think I get it from the gifts that people give. Like Fiona just gave hand hearts and Brooks just gave a rose, a whole bunch of roses actually. And, um, and Spooky just gave a hand heart too. Thank you guys. And these give like every gift gives, um, wow, you got the title gift or Brooks. And oh, Spooky gave Witchy Kitty, which is like one of my favorites. Um, and so, yeah, they, they, every, every gift gives a certain amount of money to the kittens. Because it goes towards their KMR and also towards their spaying and neutering. Thank you, Sabrina. She gave a baby ghost. It's kind of important for me to raise money because I am not affiliated with any rescue. I'm doing this by myself. I'm rescuing these kittens, making my own tiny little rescue because I was with a rescue, but they did some things that I didn't agree with. So I had to leave to be able to have a good conscience. So thanks, Shira Hero and Hearts. Um, I had to do that for my own integrity, but that means that I don't have any insurance. Like it means that like if somebody gets sick and I have to go to the vet, I have to pay for it all. Whereas a lot of rescues have a ton of support and they can cover their vet bills and they can cover a lot of their expenses because they get tons and tons of donations from people. And the last rescue I was with had like tens of thousands of people who would um, <laughs> who would help them and pay off their vet bills but that is not my current situation because I am just by myself. I'm my own little rescue. I'm rescuing her and her kittens without anybody else. And so I'm doing it all. And that's okay because I've been doing this for like over 20 years I've been doing this. I know how to do it. I know how to do cat rescue. The only thing I don't have is unlimited funds. And I am using my own money for most of it, like for whatever I need, I'm going to be paying for it. So definitely helps um, all of the gifts, all of the donations, all of the, the things. Um, I took the rescue name off my page, I'm pretty sure, I hope. Kitty Castle is my own, that's my house name. <laughs> so that's the funniest thing. Thank you for the bear. Oh, yeah, I, I call my own house Kitty Castle because I have had so many cats come through here through the different rescues that I've been with. So it's just Kitty Castle. That's how I, that's my house. And I have a lot of cat stuff in my house. Like I have a whole stairwell that has cat pictures. There's probably like 30 cat pictures, um, cats wearing clothes and cats, you know, portraits of cats and stuff like that. I know it sounds crazy, but I am totally a crazy cat lady, 100%. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> Thank you, Fiona. Yeah, one day I'll do a tour of my house and you'll see what I'm talking about. I have everything. Um, yeah, I have a link for donations. It's actually I just PayPal. I think that's the best thing. I actually use PayPal and it's catcaredonation at gmail.com and then people... Um, yeah, the previous rescue, I don't want to say their name because I'm... I could get in trouble. They could get mad at me. They already have gotten mad at me. So I don't want to do anything to make anyone mad. Um, but yeah, I just know that not every rescue is f a good match for me. That's all. So I just made my own. So that's what I'm doing. I'm rescuing this cat. I am going to tell you the rest of the names. So 
here's what we have so far we have maple and we have pumpkin pie Ooh, what was that there was like a crazy weird little heart thing that just flew across my screen oh that was cool um this one here is mochi and he's squishy just like a mochi and then we have over here shortbread i think this is shortbread sorry that one is not shortbread this one is shortbread so i sorry honey i woke you up i'm gonna show you this one next because i woke her up hi hi sweetheart so this one is oh you're gonna like this one this one is let's check if it's a boy or a girl this one is a girl yeah and her name it's it's kind of a dessert that can be in any culture there's probably it's kind of like a general kind of dessert and there's a lot of different forms that it can it can end up in it's it's a really cute are you biting my hand did you just bite my hand are you looking for foods okay let me just give her a potty time quickly okay and i'll tell you her name if you kind of guess it not moose but it's similar and it's a general name so like there's different forms of this dessert in a lot of different cultures you got it sunflower wins and Trixie got it. That's right. This is pudding. And she is a little pudding. She's a little pudding pie. Yeah, and she's going poop, so that's really good. She has lots of poop to give me. Yeah. Pudding is full of poops. My neighbors, um, Jackie and Gio, they love orange cats too, and they have four orange boys, and they're big. I'm really good friends with them. Hold on, honey. I know, but I got the poop cleaned up. You're messy. You're dirty. You're a little dirty girl. You're a little dirty girl. You have to get all the poops cleaned up. Yeah. Yes. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Hi, sweet girl. So she gave birth to nine, you guys. Nine little kittens. Okay. Is that all the poops you're going to give me? Okay, we're all done. Now it's time for yum yum time. So this is pudding, the one that I'm feeding right now. <sighs> okay, pudding, come on. Oh, she's doing a good eat. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, here, I'll show you. Pudding. Can you see her? Hi, sweetheart. Come on, try to latch on. You're making a big mess. You're making a big mess, little girl. You're making a big mess for me to clean up. So pudding, if you look really closely, her eye, I think it's her. I think her eye is starting to open. It could be one of the other ones as well, but I feel like I, 
Her eye is a little bit more cracked open than it was yesterday. But it could be one of the other ones as well. What you doing? Are you all done now? Should we do a burp? Sure, first we're gonna clean your face, okay? Come on. Where'd they go? How about we have a burp? Okay. Here, we will flip this. And then you can see her getting some burps. feel better. Yeah, that must feel better. Oh, another one. Mm -hmm. Are you my good girl? Kiss hmm? your belly. Okay, good girl. So I'm trying to get them used to people. Oh, bless you. And I'm trying to make sure that they are comfortable with people. So when I hold them, I try to give them as much of a good experience. She gave birth, she's not my cat, she's a foster cat and she gave birth five days ago. So you've just met Pudding, and the reason I know her is because she's got this like kind of white blob on her face. Do you see that? This is Pudding. She has a little kind of um, white and orange blob on her face. My good girl Pudding. My good girl Pudding. Okay, so now Pudding is done. Let's do the camera and we'll do one of the next ones. How about we do an orange one next? Hi Grimmelkin. Nice to see you. <sighs> so I'm gonna show you This is what Mama does when she needs a break. She goes over here into her little space and lays down where there's no kittens and like has a rest. But right now they're all in the bathtub. The baby that was on the mom's neck, that was the, um, that was Mochi. There you go, sweet girl. All right, so who should we meet next? I haven't found homes for them yet. They need homes, all of them, including Mama. 
Okay, so I have a feeling that both of the great, um, the both of the orange stripies are eating. So I think I'm going to pick this guy. Yeah, we're going to pick another gray and I just want to check, make sure I get the names right. So this one is, oh, this one is a fun name. Come here, you. Come here, you. This name is really fun. I love this one. This is one of my favorite desserts in the whole world. And when I say the whole world, I'm in Canada. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. When I say in the whole world, that will give you a hint that this is an international dessert. And I'll just save you the trouble right now. It's not tiramisu. <laughs> we decided not to use the name tiramisu. It's a little bit too hard to say. I know we could have shortened it, but we didn't end up using it. But I did love this name. This is like the best dessert. It's only new that I've only started knowing about it. Only about um, a couple years ago. Maybe, okay, let's, probably five, six years ago. It's, it's a really, really, really yummy dessert. And I'll just say this. A hint. My favorite flavor is mango. You can get them in different flavors. So the reason I know this one from the others is that she, hold on, let me, let me make sure she's a she. So she is a she, and she has two little orange dots right behind her ears. Do you see them? Right here, she's got two little orange dots. I don't sell them, they all get adopted. So you can fill out an application and then, oh, and then come and meet them. And then you can decide and the cat can decide if you're the one for them. So her name, I'm going to let you guys keep guessing. It's not an easy one. Um, I start setting up meet and greets once they're a bit older. They have to be, you know, six weeks or older, minimum. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. So her name is not Mochi. We already have a Mochi, not Sorbet. My favorite flavor of it is mango, though. It's not going to be an easy one, but it is an amazing dessert. If you haven't had it yet, you should try it. So I am, it's not gelato. I'm going to give her her potty time. Ooh, Lassie is a good guess, but it's not Lassie. I don't know, some people might not know about this dessert. Okay, we're gonna do potty time. It's potty time. I know, it's not bubble tea, but it's close. We're getting closer. It's definitely a lot closer. This is a potty time. Yeah. How can you adopt them? You have to fill out an application and then you're going to have to come to Edmonton, Alberta and come and meet them and make sure that it's a good fit. Lychee is a fruit and I love it. It is an awesome fruit. And if they had lychee flavor of this, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I'm, it's not sago. It's kind of slushy sometimes. Okay, 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 okay. We have to go potty. Sweetheart, I know. You're just a little fussy one, huh? I know, honey. Okay, okay. Okay, all done. You don't need to go poops? I think you do. I think I see that you do. We have to have some poops now. I know you don't want to, but we have to do it. We can't leave it all for mommy. Mommy 
doesn't like it. It's not the best. It's not the funnest part of mommying. Let's do this. Let's get you all fixed up and then I'll feed you. And you will love it. Come back here, you. Where do you think you're going? You're a little squirmy wormy, snow cone. You're getting very close. It's like a, it's like a really fancy snow cone, but it's you're getting super close. Keep guessing. Somebody will know it. I know it. It's not a roulade. You guys are so close. If you don't know what this dessert is, you have to go get one. It is and get the mango flavor. It is so, so good. Bing Su! Doo, doo, doo. That's exactly what it is. So this little girl is Bing Su. She is fussy too. And if she had to pick a flavor of Bing Su, she is a mango Bing Su. Yeah, this is Bing Su. Everybody meet Bing Su. Bing Su. Mango Bing Su. Okay, now time for Bing Su's food. Okay, sweet girl. Yeah, I know. He gets some yummies. Oh, what a good eater. What a good eater, Bingsu. What a good eater you are. Wow. She was hungry. She just sucked down 10 milliliters. Wow. Good job, sweet girl. Sweet girl. Oh, she just ate like that whole syringe full of food. Yeah, now I'm gonna burp her. Hi, Grimmelkin. Okay, you're next. I will post with all their names, absolutely. So far we have maple, pumpkin pie, mochi, bingsu, shortbread. I think that's all, right? You guys, she's purring. Kitten purrs are honestly the best. How about we wipe your face, honey? She's really happy. She's purring. Oh, there's a burp. There's a burp. Good job, sweet girl. This is Bing Su. Everybody meet Bing Su. Okay, so next. Oh, honey, I think you already ate. I think you already ate. This is pudding. I forgot about pudding. But pudding is hungry again and wants more food, so I'm going to feed her because she's starving, apparently. Come on. Are you hungry or do you need to go potty? So if they're crying, it's usually one of two things. Just like a human baby, it's like potty 
or food. But for her, she's not wanting food, so maybe it's potty. All right, let's see. I have to find where I put the toilet paper. There we go. It's okay, Mama. I got your baby. She's just being fussy because she probably needs to go potty. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay, honey. Pudding. My little pudding. Are you my little pudding pie? Hmm? What happens to the mama? Does she go back through foster? Um, she's a foster cat right now. Like she's my foster cat. And she will get a home. I will find a home for her. And then she will go to live with her new forever family. She's a very rare cat. I don't think I'll have a problem finding her a home because basically orange female cats are only, there's only 20% of all cats that are female, I mean orange cats that are female. So listen, she won't have any trouble getting adopted. Okay, pudding, okay, pudding. Pudding really wanted to be held and wanted some attention. Pudding said, please pick me up and hold me again. I want some lovings. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Okay, so there's still more babies to meet. You haven't met any of the orange stripies yet. The mom's name is Caramel. All right, here we have, let me see who we've got first. Oh, oh no, I got it screwed up, you guys. I messed up one of the names. I screwed up one of the names. <laughs> oh boy. I have to tell you somebody's name that I thought was somebody else, but it wasn't because I, I read it wrong. So it's not you. It's you. So this one, remember how I told you this one was shortbread? Because there's a stripe on her head. It's not shortbread. This one is actually called strudel. So strudel has a line on her forehead. Cause you know how sometimes strudels can have like that like cool lattice and stuff. So this is strudel. I am in Edmonton, Alberta. And strudel is an apple strudel. Cause apple strudel is my favorite. And shortbread is one of the orange kittens. So this is strudel. Strudel, apple strudel. And I'll show you who is shortbread. I think it's this one, but let me double check. The two stripy ones are very, very, very similar. Come here. Um, so this one is not shortbread, the other one is. This one is, um, I came up with the names because they're all things, they're sweet, like Mama's Caramel. And I named her, she told me her name was Caramel actually. And so that's how that happened. And the other ones, all the babies are just sweet things. And I thought about sweet things I like a lot. And all of the things that, all of the names that I came up with are things that I like. Sweet things that I like. <sighs> so I'm just giving this one a little bit of a potty. This one I think is a boy. And the name of this one is something orange. 
Okay, that's the only hint I'm going to give you. So this one is called something orange. And I'm going to feed him now. Oh my gosh, Melanie. Melanie, how did you get it? The, the first guess. Hold on, honey. Hi, sweetheart. You just want to be held again, hey? This is Creamsicle, you guys. Everybody meet Creamsicle. And Creamsicle is a boy. Okay, how about some yummies? Would you like some yummies? Okay, can we have some yummy time? Good eating. Good job. Good eating, honey. Creamsicle. My little Skittle. Hey, my little Skittle. My little Creamsicle. My little Creamsicle. No? Are you pretty full? You do seem pretty full. A little more for good measure. And maybe a little bit more. Try a little bit more. Good job. Yeah, okay. And let's have a little burp time. My little creamsicle. Oh, is that a burps? Is that a burp even? Yeah. That's my little buddy. Yeah, that's my little buddy creamsicle. Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. You get to go back. Okay. So now, who have you not met yet? Let's see. You haven't met... This is actually shortbread. Remember how I told you shortbread was a different one? This is actually shortbread. And I believe... Look, I can't tell. I think both of them are males. I think shortbread and um, creamsicle are both males. That's just the way it is. What are you doing? This one really wants to be held. Keeps on coming and trying to climb up me. Hi, pudding. Hi, pudding. There's a nickel if you want it. Okay, this is shortbread. And we're gonna try and do potty. Okay, honey. I know.
sweetheart. How about some yummies? Sometimes they're fussy and it's a little difficult to feed them, but you do what you can. There we go. I know, and Shortbread is being fussy. Might not be very hungry because was nursing this whole time. And I should also heat up the formula a little bit. So I'm going to do that before I try to feed anymore. Do you want some, Mama? So now you guys have met maple pumpkin pie, bingsu mochi, shortbread creamsicle, and pudding. Right? Am I missing anybody? There's a few that I think you haven't met yet, so I just want to make sure I'm correct on the ones that you've already met. Oh, and strudel. You met apple strudel. She's really thirsty. Is that good? Okay, Mama. You're so cute. Wow. What a good girl you are. Have some eye crumbs, honey. Let's get your eye crumbs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So, yeah. So, we have... I think we have two more for you to meet. Because you've already met... You've already met 
Oh, yeah. Creamsicle, shortcake, mochi, strudel, pumpkin pie, maple, and pudding, and bingsu. Okay, so we only have one left for you to meet. This one is awesome. I love this name. This one is one of my favorites. And I think probably one of your favorites, too. Everybody... Well, almost everybody surely has had this. This is a dessert that is a very popular dessert. Whoops. And very popular dessert. One of the most popular desserts. So I'm going to find her. And then I'll introduce you to her. She's right here. And you know her because, yes, one is called Maple. This is her, and you know her because she has this cherry on top. She's got this little orange dot on her head. She's not a Sunday. Clues for names. Oh, she's the last one. So you can tell she's a girl. She's the last one that I'm introducing you guys to. And this name is a really good one. Um, the clue is that everybody has probably had one. Not a milkshake. And it's a really fun word to say. And it is a cute name. Like, it's a cute name. It'll open their eyes in about a week. Uh, not ch Well, there's sometimes there's chocolate flavor of this. They come in all sorts of different flavors. Every flavor you can imagine, in fact. Some people get really creative with them. Very close. You're close with Cookie. I'm not giving any more clues. This is too easy. Oh, you're so close. You're on fire. No, not biscuits. You're so close. Claire, you win. Livy for life wins. It's a cupcake. Yay, everybody. Meet cupcake. This is cupcake. Is my little cupcake girl and she's just having her potty time isn't cupcake the cutest little name okay honey yeah I know okay no potty no more potty that's it I'm just going to feed Cupcake. I guess I'm not going to warm this up in advance because there's only one left. Oh, sweet girl. Sweet girl, are you hungry? Yeah, Mom is purring for sure. She's almost always purring. They are going to be totally fine. They're going to be so okay. It's not even funny. These cats are going to be better than okay. They're so healthy already and they're getting so much love and so much care. They're going to be so well adjusted because I'm going to make sure they have everything that they need to become very intelligent and um, sweet natured and um, playful and confident. If you know who Jackson Galaxy is, they're gonna have amazing mojo, cat mojo. These cats are gonna be phenomenal little creatures because I'm going to pour all of my love into them. Yeah, their names are great, aren't they? They're all yummy. <laughs> this is Caramel's yummy. Yummy babies. Yeah. Caramel's sweet kittens. 
Hi, sweetheart. A little bit more milks? A little bit more milk? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummies. And thank you, everybody, for the gifts. And thank you so much for any donations and anybody who sent me stuff from the Amazon wish list. Thank you so, so much. I'm so grateful because you guys have given me things like kitten food and KMR and it has helped so much. I'm not going yet, but soon. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody because I'm just so grateful. I'm overwhelmed with all the love and all of the support that you guys have given me. So I'm um, just, I was crying because Amazon brought me some, a whole bunch of KMR and I was so grateful. It was like, oh man, I don't have to worry about food for them for a long time. And I'm just so grateful for that because it's like a lot already. I'm tired and I'm always feeding them. And it's one thing to be taking care of them. And then it's another thing to be worrying about money as well. So it's just, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. And thank you for all of the awesome gifts because all of that goes towards, um, all of that goes towards the kittens and they're getting spayed and neutered. So Livy, are you asking about Chimera? Thanks Fiona for the hand hearts. If you're asking about Chimera, that's like you have watched me for a while then because Chimera was my first, um, from the last rescue I was with, she was the first mama that I got for the, from the last rescue. And you know what? She's amazing. Um, my very close neighbors, they live three doors down from me. They've adopted her and I get to see her like every other day. Thank you, Sue Ann. Thank you for the roses. Yeah, so I go over and visit Chimera like three, four times a week. And um, she's amazing. She's so sweet. She's turned into this amazing little, um, a, like she's just super affectionate. Do you remember how wild she was when I first got her? How she was just like so feral? Well, now she's like this loving and affectionate. She follows around. So my neighbors are retired and she follows them around like a puppy. So she turned into this just phenomenal little cat and I just I'm so happy that she's so close by and I can go see her I'm her godmother so you know if anything ever happens to them Chimera will come back here and live with me okay and I'm just finishing um yeah I know she's thriving she's thriving so well I'm just finishing feeding here my little cupcake this here is little cupcake with the little cherry on top. A little bit of frosting on her head. Yeah. Should we have a little burp? How about a little burp, honey? Yeah. So I think there's about half and half boys and girls. I think most of the gray ones are girls. And most of the orange ones are boys, but I might there might be one difference. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold her to my heart. Sometimes when they're like that, they just wanna be close to the heart. Yeah. So I'll show you. Um, flip the camera. So sometimes when they're whining, they just want to be held close. Oh, there's the burp. Did you give me the burp? Does make a good girl? Does that make a good cupcake? This is cupcake. Little cupcake. 
Oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Little cupcake. My little Skittle. Mwah. Oh. Hi, thanks, Lee. I know, Lee. Thank you for the rose, Lee. I was just telling everybody how all of the gifts go to, um, basically to the cats. There are donations for them to get KMR and towards their spay and their neuter because there's 10, 10 cats that all need to get spayed and neutered when it's the right time. So thank you so much for the gifts. I really appreciate it, you guys. Um, it's important for me to raise about, well, I guess I have to raise around $300,000, 3000 um, because each one is probably about 300 I don't know. I've got to find a vet that I can work with. And um, my name is Catmella or Carmella. I call myself Catmella because of all the cats, right? But I guess it's actually Carmella. So Mama is Caramel. And then we have, I think this is Cupcake. We have Cupcake, we have Mochi right here, we have Creamsicle and Shortbread. Thank you, Grimalkin. Thanks for the finger hearts. And we have, um, let me just double check, I don't want to get them all wrong. We have Pumpkin and Maple. Okay. You going for a little walk, Mama? You go for a little bit rest. You go for a little rest. And there she goes. Boop. You go for a little break? Or for food? One of the two. She's not sure yet. Hmm. Hard choices. That's my good girl. Okay. Yeah, so thank you, Grimalkin. Thank you for the finger heart. Caramel's doing great. She's tired, like is to be expected. And all the kittens are doing really well. I'm very proud of them. So we have Cupcake Creamsicle, Shortbread, Mochi, Strudel, Pumpkin, Pumpkin Pie, Maple, Pudding, and Bingsu. These are all the kittens' names. So yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, you think Cupcake wants more milk? Okay, I'll try. Let me give it a try. Come here, sweetheart. You want some more milks? You want some more milk? Hmm? Yeah? A little bit more. A little bit more milk. No? No? Are you done? Okay. Um, be right back. Okay, Mama. Okay, that's good, Mama. Thank you. I got that. I got that. I got that. I got it. Yeah, I take care of it. That's what I do. I take care of it. see the babies? There you go. There you go.
Okay. Okay, everybody. Hi, Mama. This is Mama Caramel. They all have names. We finally named them. The names are Cupcake, Creamsicle, Shortbread, Mochi, Strudel, Pumpkin pie, maple, pudding, and bingsu. <gasps> to be extra clear, pudding is sticky toffee pudding, but pudding for short. Come here, sweetheart. Okay. But they're all doing really well. They're so healthy. Oh, Calgary, you're my neighbor. Rihanna, I'm in Edmonton. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I'll thank you everybody for joining. They are slowly opening their eyes. Yep. There's at least one of them who has their eyes partially open. I believe they'll be... I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, actually. Edmonton is only a couple hours from Calgary. I'm going to go now. Yeah, I have a appointment soon and I have to get dressed and I have to have my breakfast. There's a lot of things I have to do. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for the roses. I will absolutely keep on posting updates. You guys are going to be following along with me as these guys grow up. You will be able to watch them go from little kittens to cats, <laughs> newborns, and you'll get to watch all of their stages and their personalities develop. Oh, thanks for joining, Fiona, and thanks for everybody. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks, Perminder. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. I'm just so grateful that you guys are able to share this and get, you know, some some knowledge and some education. And this is why I do this. I want, I'm a cat advocate. I believe in taking care of and, and protecting cats. That's my purpose in life. So you guys helped me do that and I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope everybody has a great rest of the day and we will see you next time. I'll try to go live again in the next uh, day or two. Try to do this as much as possible, as long as you guys don't get bored of it. <laughs> Thanks, Adamo. Yeah. Aww. Look at her. She's so sweet. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good rest of the day. And I'm going to post all of my lives on the um, YouTube channel. So if you ever miss one, 
I will post it on the YouTube channel and you guys can watch them there, okay? If you ever need like a fix. Oh, thank you, Fiona. Thank you. Thank you for the hand hearts. Best. All right, you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.